is April. I have a jar full of names. Recently, I was tagged by the beautiful Sarah Ella to do the rip it or ship it tag. Even though I don't know how this is gonna go, thank you Sarah Ella for doing it. You guys should check out her channel because she's awesome and amazing and yeah, check her out. Anyways, the rip it or ship it tag is all about putting people in a jar, drawing their names, and then deciding if you would ship that relationship or if you would totally let that relationship rest in peace. I have some doozies in this jar. Some that I just threw in because I thought it would be interesting if they got drawn. Shake. The first one is Diane from The Immortals by Tamara Pierce. And Luna Lovegood from Harry Potter. I actually could see this one happen because Luna, she's free-spirited. Free she loves people. She loves everyone. She wants everyone to be all loving, happy, peaceful place. And then Diane, she's just, she's all about the nature and the animals and making sure everything coexists happily. I could see them getting on very well, which is kind of odd. It could happen, right? Okay, Buffy from Buffy the Vampire Slayer and Trip from Star Trek Enterprise. No. I can't, I can't see it. They both have the snarkiest personalities ever. They probably just get on each other's nerves. That's all I can see happening because Buffy, she likes to kick some butt. She's snarky, but she's also valley girl-like. And then Trip, he, he's that southern man who fixes engines and things and snarks. So they have snark in common, but it, it had, no, it, it just, no. I can't, I can't. We have Princess Leia from Star Wars. Richard Gansey from the Raven Cycle series. You know, they would get on. They would, because you've got Leia who is all about, you know, saving her people and then you've got Gansey, who is loyal to a fault. And they both have this, like, royalty feel to their personalities. It would work. And they can make a very awesome power couple. An intergalactic power couple. With mystical powers. The Force has come to Henrietta. <laughs> Samantha Carter from Stargate. James Hook from Peter Pan. No! Samantha would just put Hook in jail. She'd turn him over to the government. That's all there is to that. That would never happen. We got Blue Sergeant from the Raven Cycle and Han Solo from Star Wars. I just think Blue would just like stick it to Hans. She would just ream into that man, which he probably needs. I mean, someone to keep him in line. It's obviously why he got on with Leia so well. It could be a thing. I like how Blue ended up with Hans and Gansey ended up with Leia. They kind of they kind of just like did the swapperoo thing. Newman, I think that's how you say his name, from the Immortal series. By Tamara Pierce. Alexia Fitzwalter from the Summoning series by Robin D. Owens. Well see, these are both like higher educated people. I mean, Newman is he's he's a high sorcerer. I mean, he went through a lot of schooling to get where he is. He's very knowledge driven. And then Alexia, she is a lawyer from Montana who ended up in a different world and ended up saving people's lives by kicking some butt. Their 
they're similar, but I could I, I can't see them fitting together. They probably end up just clashing. I, I can't. So we're three on three right now. Three ships, three rips. Shake it up again. And we got Spike from Buffy. And screw tape from the screw tape letters. If we're talking about the specifically evil Spike, the not so nice and but not hung up on Drusilla, and depending on how Screwtape looks, if he can do like the whole, you know, changing of appearance and look nice, that just sounds uncomfortable. But it's still in the realm of possibility. We have Mark Watney from The Martian and Castle. No, they are both like playboys. I don't see it working at all. And even if they did try, they'd probably drive each other nuts. <laughs> oh my god, Snape! Of course, from Harry Potter. And Abby from NCIS. Snape would never put up with Abby. Snape would probably kill Abby. Abby would be dead. Okay, Jack O'Neill from Stargate. And Iko from Cinder. Okay, I can see Iko being completely in love with Jack, but Jack having no idea how to handle Iko, because Jack and technology do not go hand in hand. So he wouldn't he wouldn't even know what to do with her. But I guess you know she she can take care of herself. Oh, that sounded bad. No, I'm gonna yeah, Jack and computers. It it can happen because he. I accidentally spilled his coffee on her. <laughs> we got Half Boy from the Spook Show trilogy series. It's a series, not a trilogy. And Finbar from Daughter of the Forest. I'm sorry, guys. This is never gonna happen either because Half Boy is a half boy. He's a ghost who's only half of himself. But I guess Finbar, he's only half of himself too, because he's still kind of part bird. They just kind of, they, uh, there would be no focus there. There's, there would, there would be no focus. And what's the point of having a relationship if there's no focus? Okay guys, <laughs> I feel like the shrewdest matchmaker ever. So that <laughs> was my extremely awkward Rip it or ship it game thing. I don't I don't even know guys. I'm gonna tag absolutely everybody. Everybody. I don't know if some of you guys have done this tag yet or not. And if you have, I'm sorry, please ignore me. But if you haven't, I'd like to see your answers. And I heart all of your beautiful faces. Bye! Guys, by the way, if you do this tag, do not put the names on sticky notes because they just kind of get stuck together. Mm -hmm.